Good evening to you and thanks for joining us for Queen 6 News at 11. I'm Elizabeth Din. Jeff is off tonight. A warning first as tonight we begin with a heartbreaking tragedy out of Damascus, where today we learned a man is believed to have shot and killed his 12 year old brother in law before turning the gun onto himself. And that boy's father speaking with our Joel Jones tonight, frustrated, saying the system failed his family. It's such a heartbreaking story that father tells us the murder of his son could have been prevented, saying Kerr shouldn't have been anywhere near the home as his daughter, Kerr's ex-wife, had filed a restraining order against him. Still, he tells us despite the family expressing concerns to authorities, yesterday he drove past police to the home only to find Kerr, his two dogs, and his son dead inside. A father grieving an unimaginable loss after a tragedy he says could have been avoided. Patrick Landers Sr. tells us he is the father of Patrick Landers Jr. The 12 year old boy shot and killed in a murder suicide last night at this home off Southeast Delia Street in Damascus. So we shot my son, shot the dogs and took his own life. Today, the Clackamas County Sheriff's Office identified the gunman as Ricochet Kerr, saying they received reports that he was violating a restraining order out of Washington County when he crashed his vehicle through the garage before killing Landers, then himself. The father shared this text, the last he received from his son, alerting him that Rick was there. Investigators say as they were approaching the home, they shot at a second vehicle that drove past them. We learned today that driver was Landers. These punk cops up the street shot my truck because they want to come down the street to see what's going on. So I got to drive down here, blow through here. Trucks right there, blow holes in the rims. Landers says the system not only failed his daughter, Kerr's ex-wife, but also his son. Court records show the two had recently separated, with Landers telling us his daughter repeatedly called authorities over concerns that Kerr would violate his restraining order, but says nothing was done. Landers even tells us Kerr recently told the courtroom he planned to kill himself during a hearing for a restraining order warrant on Tuesday. It said, hey, I'm going to kill myself in the courtroom. In a courtroom, you say you're going to kill yourself. Dude shows up. Yesterday, smokes my son, kills my dogs, shoots himself in my house. The kind of justice system. And our hearts go out to that family during this devastating time. And in light of what we heard from Landers today, I did ask the Clackamas County Sheriff's Office about those 911 calls he says the family made leading up to this incident, though we were told they wouldn't be able to confirm those records for us by tonight. So with these lingering questions, of course, we will continue to follow this, bringing you any updates both on air and online. But for now, reporting from Clackamas County, I'm Joelle Jones, Queen 6 News.